Hi, third grade. We are continuing animals and you. Focusing on our essential question, how can learning about animals help you respect them? This anthology story is an expository text that teaches us the differences and similarities between alligators and crocodiles. So let's take a look really quick at the skill that helps our comprehension comparing and contrasting. When we compare and contrast, authors show how things are alike and how they are different. Signal words that tell you when authors are comparing and contrasting are words like both, alike, same, different, okay? Those are the words that you're going to look for when you cite your text evidence. We know that when we use a double bubble map, we put our similarities, things that are the same in the center, and the things that are different on the outside. Our differences go on the outside. So things that are only about alligators go here, only crocodiles go here on the outside of our double bubble map. Okay? You're going to have your text to help you. And as we read, you're going to be able to create your double bubble map where you're looking at what's the same and what is different about these two reptiles. Okay? Let's read about two amazing reptiles and find out why we should respect them. Something glides slowly through the water, barely making a ripple. It is well hidden and looks like a bumpy drifting log. Two eyes and a snout appear above the water. It is an alligator or a crocodile. Okay, so by the end of today's story, you're going to be able to look at these pictures and know the difference to be able to identify, is it? an alligator or a crocodile. Alligators and crocodiles are members of a group of reptiles called crocodilians. Croc-a-dil-e-ns. They are the closest living relatives of dinosaurs and the world's largest reptiles. Alligator. Crocodile. All reptiles are cold-blooded animals. In order to survive, they must keep their body temperature from getting too hot or too cold. They do this by moving to a cooler or warmer place. According to paleontologists, paleontologists, alligators, crocodiles, and dinosaurs lived on Earth about 230 million years ago. About 65 million years ago, dinosaurs became extinct, but alligators and crocodiles continued to live. Paleontologists are scientists who learn about ancient life by studying fossils, the remains of a plant or animal that lived at least 10,000 years ago. Extinct means no longer in existence. All right, so here we see two different maps where alligators and crocodiles live. You need to pay attention to the key, red being alligators and then orange being crocodiles. Look at the difference here. Only this red portion is alligators. And all of this orange yellow is crocodiles. So a lot of it has to do with location and you're going to find out more about the different kinds of alligators and crocodiles in just a minute. Okay. This shows the red section that is this part of your map. And then you're going to see a blue, which is here at the Florida Keys. And it shows they have alligators and crocodiles at this part of Florida. Okay.
The word crocodile comes from the word crocodilos, crocodilos, which means lizard in Greek. The word alligator comes from elegarto, el la garto, which means the lizard in Spanish. There are two different kinds of alligators and fourteen different kinds of crocodiles. The only area inhabited by both alligators and crocodiles is the southern tip of Florida and the Florida Keys. Where All right, I want you guys to really pay attention that to the paragraph here. It says there's only two different kinds of alligators and fourteen different kinds of crocodiles. And if we look here. We see that a lot of Florida and this part of our United States has alligators, right? But then all of this in these other continents has the crocodiles, and we know that there are 14 different kinds of crocodiles. Alligators and crocodiles usually live in climates where the water and air temperatures are warm all year long. Some alligators live in cooler climates, where they must hibernate if it gets too cold. Where American alligators and crocodiles live in the United States. So, with our stop and check, it says where do crocodiles and alligators live together? You can see here that that would be the blue section in the Florida Keys in the United States. Okay. Now, I really like this page because it shows a side by side comparison with the diagram um, pointing to each body part. And it shows the alligator here and the crocodile here. Now, if you guys look closely, this is going to inform you on similarities and differences. Okay. It says teeth. Only top teeth can be seen when jaws are closed on alligators. Okay, now look closely at the crocodile. Upper and lower teeth can be seen when jaws are closed. Okay, now they both say strong jaws, so that would be a similarity, and then a difference would be the top row of teeth being seen versus top and lower teeth being seen. You can see here it talks about um, their eye slits, their toes, and then you're going to compare from back and forth and check to see is it a similarity or is it a difference. So long, strong tail, then go here long strong tail that's a similarity that would go in the center all right alligators and crocodiles are carnivores to catch their prey they may stay perfectly still when an animal comes near snap the animal is grabbed in a split second alligators and crocodiles may also swim slowly and quietly to their unaware prey and attack. Carnivores are animals that eat meat. Alligators and crocodiles each have about 60 pointed teeth. When they lose a tooth, a new tooth takes its place. They can grow about 3,000 new teeth during their lives. Young alligators and crocodiles usually feed on small prey, such as fish, frogs, and birds using their powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Larger, older alligators and crocodiles may eat big animals such as raccoons and deer. Often they grab their prey and hold its nose underwater until the animal drowns. Also, they may leap to catch their prey. They eat by ripping the animal apart and swallowing the pieces whole. Cold-blooded animals do not eat as often as warm-blooded animals. Okay, for our stop and check, it says, what do alligators and crocodiles eat? You're going to find the answer here and also here. It talks about them both being carnivores. 
that they eat meat. And then it's going to tell you which kinds of animals they eat here. All right. Alligators and crocodiles live in the water. Alligators and crocodiles are good swimmers and spend most of their time in the water. They use their powerful swishing tails to move forward. They are able to steer using their tails and back legs. By tucking in all four legs, they are able to swim faster. They can swim up to six miles, 9.6 kilometers an hour. They can stay underwater for as long as two hours. And on the land. They can crawl, walk, and run. Sometimes they walk with their bodies high off the ground. This is called the high walk. Crawl, walk, run, high walk. So alligators and crocodiles both live in the water and on land. That is a similarity. Alligators and crocodiles are nocturnal. They see well in the dark. They also see far away very well. They cannot see well underwater. Crocodiles and alligators have excellent senses of smell. They also have excellent senses of hearing. They are able to pick up vibrations in the air or water using their ears as well as the shallow nerves on top of their heads. Sensory pits on their bodies also help detect vibrations in the water. Vibrations alert them to any nearby prey. The thick, bony plates of American alligators and American crocodiles help protect them. Nocturnal means being active at night. The shallow nerves are under the skin on top of their heads. Each ear is hidden behind a slit in the skin. Alligators and crocodiles can make roaring, grumbling, and hissing sounds when they are protecting their territory. They will puff out their necks to show that they are ready to fight. During mating season, males and females communicate by making grunts, barks, and low rumbling sounds. Often they rub snouts, blow bubbles on the water surface, and swim together in circles. Sometimes they will make sounds by slapping the surface of the water to attract a mate. All right, now this page compares how an, um, alligators nest and crocodiles nest. A few weeks later, the females lay their eggs in nests, where the eggs will be kept warm and protected. Mother alligators and crocodiles are always on the alert, guarding their nests to protect their young from any egg-eating animals, such as skunks and raccoons. An American alligator's nest. The female lays about 45 eggs on a bed of leaves and grasses. She then completely covers them with a mound made of leaves, grasses, and mud. The mound is about 6 feet, 1.8 meters wide. Mound. Nest. Eggs. A group of eggs is called a clutch. An American crocodile's nest. The female digs a hole in the ground and lays about 50 eggs. She covers each layer and the top with sand. Nest. Eggs. Usually it takes about 65 days before the alligator and crocodile eggs begin to hatch. Newborns are called hatchlings. Most hatchlings are about 10 inches, 25.4 centimeters long. Within minutes of hatching, their mother takes them to the water. The warmth of the inside of the nest helps determine whether the newborns will be males or females. When the temperature of the nest is above 88 degrees Fahrenheit, 31 degrees Celsius, most of the hatchlings will be males. When the temperature is lower, most will be females. The mother can hear her young making squeaking sounds from inside the eggs. They are ready to hatch. 
A baby may use its egg tooth to crack open the hard shell and break free. Sometimes the mother uses her tongue to roll an egg against the roof of her mouth. Soon the shell cracks open and the hatchling crawls out. American Alligator American Alligator Hatchling So if you guys look here at the illustration, you can see the mom using her tongue to roll the egg against the roof of her mouth to crack the egg so that the baby can come out the hatchling. Okay. The female alligator and crocodile stay close to their young for about a year. They protect them from harm before the young ones go off on their own. Young alligators and crocodiles grow about one foot, 0.3 meter, a year for their first six years. As they get older, they grow slower. They continue to grow throughout their lives. Alligators and crocodiles use their strong legs, feet, and tails to dig holes in muddy marshlands. The holes fill with water. Other wildlife living nearby will also make use of these water holes. So this page talks about how quickly the alligators and crocodiles grow. As they get older, they grow slower. They continue to grow throughout their lives. Alligators and crocodiles use their strong legs, feet, and tails to dig holes in muddy marshlands. The holes fill with water. Other wildlife living nearby will also make use of these water holes. Okay, so they live in a marsh, a swamp. Here it says that the caption um, of this illustration, it says, an American crocodile can grow to be 20 feet long. The hatchlings have needle sharp teeth and can hunt and feed on small fish and insects right away. American alligator hatchlings have yellow stripes on their bodies, which fade away as they grow older. An American alligator can grow to be about 12 feet long. American alligators and American crocodiles were hunted for hundreds of years for their meat and skins. Today it is illegal to hunt them, but humans are still their main enemy. People have developed areas where these large reptiles once lived. There are fewer and fewer places where alligators and crocodiles can live in their natural environment. Okay, so from this illustration, you can infer that humans coming into their habitat have impacted their um, ability to thrive in their normal home. And that is also, it says that they've been hunted. And hundreds of years, people have used their meat and skins. So we are indeed uh, in need of learning how to respect the alligator and crocodile. All right, so here we have a wildlife reserve and it's gonna talk about how they are endangered. So I want you to think about why are alligators and crocodiles endangered? You can reread our last page to find the answer. Wildlife preserves have been created to protect them. Alligators and crocodiles have been around for millions of years. Now they are endangered. The lives of these fascinating creatures should be respected. Endangered means threatened with extinction. Okay, so here we have the author's purpose. Why do you think the author wrote about alligators and crocodiles? And then I also want you to pay attention to this question. Um, in what ways are people helping alligators and other endangered animals? So those two questions will be part of your follow-up on your student slide copy. Okay, so let me come here and show you what I mean. I will expect you guys each to create a double bubble 
telling me some of the similarities and differences that you discovered about alligators and crocodiles. I've included some of the text to help you um, to have your text evidence to cite for your thinking map. Okay. Um, here I have the nest comparison and also the um, side by side diagram for you. So, all of that you can use the text to compare and contrast the alligators and crocodiles. Lastly, for the author's purpose question, you guys will have your question here. Why do you think the author wrote about alligators and crocodiles? You're going to click here. You're going to type your answer here. And I'm looking for a third grade answer. Okay. For endangered animals, in what ways are people helping alligators and other endangered animals? So we talked about that in the story. You're going to type your answer here. Okay. So each of you will have your own student copy where you can do your double bubble, use the text, and answer the author's purpose, and also about the text to world question, how are people helping the endangered animals? All right, this is a really cool story that kind of uh, teaches me some things that are different about these two reptiles each year. I hope you enjoyed it.